Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, my name's Michaela. Um, if you're old here, yeah, you've been a, if you come back returning, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for, for staying. So today's video is going to be a Poundland haul. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I do think with Poundland, once you've been in there, like picking up new things, I go in there because I like to pick up. Um, I like to pick up what are they called, um, like repurchase things. But I feel like if you've been in there once, within like the next couple of weeks, nothing sort of new in. It's not like every week they're changing their stuff. But moving on, I thought I'd show you what I got. So I have got two sort of like biggish bags. They're a bit random, so. I ain't gonna, but yeah, they're a bit random. Um, starting off with kids toothbrushes. They are a pack of. Let me turn this around. One, two, three, four, five. So you get a pack of five, all different colours. My children literally, I don't know what they do with them, but they lose them around the house. So I thought I'll pick these up. Um, I bought one of these elbow grease scrubbing pads. I like these. I like, um, oh, I do like these. I do like the sort of different colours. I like to have different colours for different rooms to sort of know which room it's for. But yeah, pick that up. Um, I bought some of the overall cotton pads for my makeup. I've sort of been running out of these. <laughs> I really want you to film this video because I've literally used my last ones up today so I can now open them. Um, I picked up some eyelashes. These are the Sparkle and Shine eyelashes with glue and they just look like that. I've actually been using these quite a lot recently. I have bought a pair for I try them out. I normally do like the Fern McCann ones from there. But I thought I'd try these out, and yeah, I've really been liking them, and I've just picked up a few more. Um, I normally go and get my eyebrows threaded. Obviously, with lockdown, none of them are open, so I've actually have been be used. I've actually have to pluck my eyebrows. So I really hate doing like literally. I can't stand it. I don't know why my forehead looks so oily. I don't know why. Looks really shiny. Um, but these are just tw um, tweezers, tweezers and scissor set. And I thought that was quite good for a pound, like tweezers. I don't know how great they are, but I thought I would just pick them up. I mainly want to do them for the scissors because these bits here I can't, I need to cut. Um, I bought a nail varnish. Um, during the lockdown period, I think I had to buy a lot of nail varnishes. Before lockdown, I didn't have no nail varnish. Um, I used to just just buy a black one from Primark, but I feel like during lockdown, I bought quite a few. And this is a, I believe it's Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Color Show 60 Seconds. Ava Kiss. And it's just like a really sort of like nudey sort of grey colour. And I thought that was really quite a nice colour. I've been into all the nudes at the moment. I'm trying to sort of like do this as best as I can. So it's sort of like on the same sort of variety. I bought these. So I don't really use TikTok. I've never made a TikTok video. But I saw some girl use these to apply her eyelashes with. And I thought that is really quite a good idea. Like a good way to do it. And... A false eyelash applicator. I wouldn't use it to applicate, but she said about clumping the eyelash, her fake eyelashes to her actual eyelashes. So I've just picked one of these up. I thought I'd give that a go, see how it is. So I bought this, the Argan Oil. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. I haven't actually used this before, I don't really know. Let's see if it smells. But this. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> um, it hasn't really got like a strong smell to it, but it's just. 
and I feel like shampoo smell. Um, these are quite a big bottle. These are like 300 ml. So I thought that would be to give that a go, see how it is. I know a lot of people on YouTube do use these. Like I keep seeing people's videos and they've like purchased it. Um, the next thing I bought was a bubble sheet mask. I really kind of like the bubble sheets mask. I think they're just, I don't know, fascinating to watch them bubble. But yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. If you watch my Pampa video, you also like you know every like week I do like to do a face mask. I should really do it at the beginning of the week. I don't know why I'll do it on a Thursday or a Friday. But then I or throughout the weekend I wear makeup. It's hardly throughout the week I wear makeup. That's probably why I don't really have filming throughout the week. Um Pop Tarts. These are the um Cerebri Sensation. I don't know if anyone remembers these, like I used to love these when I was a child. Um I haven't had them in years. And you get eight in here and these were two pounds. Like normally in like supermarkets, these are a lot more expensive. They're like three pounds something. Sorry, I just dropped the um <laughs> camera. But yeah, I thought Pop Tarts was just like for two pounds, that was just such a good bargain. And I also thought these are a bit squashed. They're cocoa biscuits. They're like a biscuit with like chocolate on them. Before, I've never bought them before from Pano. And then I've just got an argan oil hair treatment. Again, I've never used this before. I think I have actually used this. I just I don't really remember. It's sort of got the same sort of smell like the um but that's what just that looks like. And that's the box. So I don't, I think I have used this before, I just don't remember what it was like. I have to be, like, I'm really trying to find an oil on my own and, like, an anti-frizz oil. And I feel like I keep trying them out, but they just, I feel like that make my hair grow greasy. I could really run a biscuit to my cup of tea right now. Um, so, moving on my other bag my boyfriend picked these up these are the um twigs bites they're like all stuck together i don't know why but that's annoying for him not for me um i don't know why there's another bag in here as well um i got some again this is more than eyelashes I've got these are the ones that I'm wearing now. These are the ones that I normally do use. These are the firm can to make ones, and I love them. Like I feel like with other ones I have to put mascara with. These ones I don't. Um, I picked up some Colgate Deep Clean Whitening. This is with baking. This is with baking soda. So I like to use this toothpaste. At the minute, me and my boyfriend are using the Aura B one. I've always used Colgate and I don't know why we picked up an Aura B one. It is I just don't really rate it. Um so these are next things that I'm sort of like experimenting. These are sort of things that I see in Panland all the time, but I never pick them up. I just I don't know why. But these are the free cosmetic blenders. I'd normally buy mine from Primark. I don't feel like I go Primark enough to keep on top of it. I used like the real technique one. I feel like now I've recently not been using them as much. They are quite solid, but maybe once they're damp, they'll be a lot better. And for years, I never knew about damping them. I was just using them like literally like rocks. I like not these ones, but the real technique one. I used to use it years ago. I used to like it. I used to use it. Never, no one told me about the dampness. Um, also, I picked up these little pinks. I thought it was cute. Oh, by the way, you get three in there. Um, they're like all different sizes as well, which I thought was really quite cute. I feel like this one's for more foundation. This is just like more powder and dries. And I feel like this one's really good for sort of like blending out your 
what's it called? Um, if you carve out your eyebrows, you're all going to bend it. I don't really know how people carve out their eyebrows, but um, anyway, moving on. This little cute little pen. Can you see? It's got like a little swan with like a little crown on, little blue pom pom, and it's like gold. I thought that was really cute. I have got a thing about buying pens. I don't know why, but I lose them like all the time. And then I bought these um, like little gems. Everyone's probably seen these in Primark, um, Primark, Pineland. I'm sure everyone has. But you get 504, it's a bit random, but four. Um, but yeah, I want to sort of like do something with these. I'll show you that in my next little thing. So, we've all probably seen these in Poundland. I think they are quite new. Um, but you can sort of like do things like that. I thought this would be really quite cute to hang on the wall. And I don't really know what to do with it, what I'd put on there. But maybe like a pen pot. I don't know, but I wish I picked up these little clips now. I was thinking like what would I put on there though. But I thought I could put that little photo of me and my boyfriend and my kids, make it look a bit more cute. But it also comes with these screws in the back to put it on the wall with. Um, to go with that, I brought this little tray. I'm not too sure I shouldn't just clips on. Um, but yeah, I bought that to go with it, and then I bought three, well I bought one, but they come with three little pots to go with them as well. I thought they'd be really quite cute for like my pens, I don't really know what else, but yeah. And I thought I could just sort of bring it up, put like a couple of diamonds on there, just, I don't know, make it look a bit more prettier. I think that's what sort of put me off of buying it for so long. It just looks a bit, I don't know, it looks a bit cheap. Um, so I bought these two prints. Um, I watched something else with Panland last night, Panland haul last night, and she picked up exactly two prints. And I really sort of like, I don't know, my pink, my room is that pink, and I thought this is kind of cute. I've had these before in my old flat. Um, but when I move, I, I don't know why, I just threw it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to put these in my wall and in my makeup area to make that look so better. Like, there's a massive wall there. And I'll probably show you at the end of the video, or I will add it on once they're up. But yeah, I thought they were quite cute. And these were only 50p each. The only thing is, I couldn't do is get the frame. But I have got, like, two up there with just wallpaper in. I think I might, oh, nope, I need to pick it back up. I think what I might do is use them frames up there and put them in at the minute, but put them on a different wall. I thought that they don't really need to be there. Um, I bought some more pop tarts. The kids was eating these today. I literally got one packet of them, but they're kind of packet like that and two now. Yeah, bought them today. So again, when I was watching this YouTube video last night, um, the girl bought these. I've actually, I don't think I have ever bought wax melt from Poundland. I don't know why, if it's just because I didn't like the smell or something like that. I don't know. Um. They do smell like coconut, but mm, they do smell nice. Um, but yeah, you get six in here and they're just coconut breeze, wax melt. I did want to buy a wax melt burner. I couldn't find one in my pan land. But um, I like to have a wax melt burner in like every room so it does smell like it just smells nice but recently I sort of just haven't been keeping up to date with them they just I don't know wax melters wax burners I feel like they just break all the time I don't know how but and 
my last thing I bought was this. Again, I saw this in that girl's video. And she said, like, on your sign, it don't look pretty. But when you put it with other things, um, it does look pretty. Um, I'm probably going to try this because I like the um, texture of it. And I feel like it would be quite nice if just as a pop or something. I do need something on my dressing table for a candle because I think my candle's going to run out soon. Um, but it has got a scent to it. Um, I don't know if you're saying it with peppermint. peppermint. You can see. But yeah. That's what it looks like. It's like a greeny sort of colour, I would say. I don't know if you can still see that. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I bought from Poundland. I have done this in sort of like two trips. I haven't always bought it in one go. But thank you for watching my video. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you are new here and if you haven't already. Please comment down below any videos you would like to see. Any requests I would really appreciate. But hopefully guys, I'll see you in my next video. Hope you keep safe and well. Bye guys. So I thought I would just show you my little DIY with this. These are the gems that I used um, that I bought from Panland. I used two little fluffy things that I actually have taken off of a pen. Um, these I've had in the drawer for ages and I just bought these. I think that's from Home Bargains. And then this, I've just used vinyl wrap, which is this one. Um, again, I've had that in the drawer. And I've also just used a little bow. That's my daughter's. And as you can see, it's still like clipped on. So, I'm not too sure how I want to organise it yet. I don't think I'll have the pots at the bottom. I can't really put anything in it because of this. I don't know why it looks wonky. But I think it's just the drawer. But I'm really sort of like pleased how it's turned out. The only one I don't really like is this one. I think it would look better if I wrapped it all. But I felt like that would have been really sort of difficult. But I'm really quite pleased how it's turned out. And this is just an idea of what you can do with yours. Again, I think it looks it looks a bit different to everyone else's. But yeah, I love this one. And these look like they're wonky, but it ain't. It's actually just the plastic. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, I'm really pleased 